Hey, what's happening out there, everybody? My name is Hayden Adams from Nautilus Designs. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can fade type or create a gradient within your type inside of an image in Photoshop CC 2019. So how did I get this type to fade into the background? Let's take it from the top. All right, I've got my picture here of San Francisco. Now what I wanna do is I wanna place some type on the screen. I'm gonna hit the T key for type and click anywhere and pull up and I'm gonna type with all caps, San Francisco. Oh, looks like I have a different font than I wanted. I'm gonna choose Helvetica because I want a bold font. I want something that's strong, powerful. Let's see what I can possibly come up with. Let's go with condensed black too. I want something big and tall because I can then make it as long as I can across the screen. I'm gonna hit the enter key. Now keep in mind, I have an extended keyboard right here and the enter key is different than the return key. If you have a laptop or a short keyboard and you wanna lock in your type, hitting the command and return key will also lock it in. What I mean by locking it in is, when I hit the enter key on my keyboard, I can then type something brand new. So just as an FYI, if you want to lock your type down, command return, or basically up to the move tool, and you can move your type somewhere else on the screen. All right, let's hit command T to transform. I'm going to move my type as big as possible. I want it sitting pretty close to the water. There we go. Making sure all my Oops, oh, I meant to hit the return key, not the enter key. Command T, pull it down, and to lock that type, there we go. I wanna double check one thing from my previous tutorial, that's what I thought. I have some tracking left over. That's what I was thinking of. Now it looks better. Now we'll make it bigger. And San Francisco, it is. It's a lot of work to get my type the way I wanted it to be. All right, let me close my character. So what I wanna do is, I wanna put a gradient in this type that goes from white to transparent. Now by default, I can't add a gradient to this design. I only get the choice of foreground and background colors and both of them are solid. But what if we could somehow do that? The answer lies in this little effects section and where it says gradient overlay. And what I wanna do is, I wanna apply, let me pull this around here. In this gradient overlay, I wanna now apply a gradient. So if I add a red and green gradient, check it out. I now can apply a gradient to type. But there's one special feature right here, and that's foreground to transparent, which is a really great tool to use. However, you'll see something that happens right away. If I go white to transparent, my type is already white. So unfortunately, by default, none of these allow me to fade. Ooh, that's a little San Francisco right there. San Francisco, I think I just made up a word in that process. But unfortunately, I can't add any transparency to this. I can add a gradient, but even so, the transparency fades to white but here's the solution. Let me add this for right now. I'm gonna say negative 90 so it points down, linear and white to transparent. The trick is in making this work is changing your fill right down here in your layers. If I go from 100% to 0%, check it out. Now what happens is the fill on the type is zero and the gradient comes through. Since I use a white to transparent and the fill is zero, that transparency mixed with the fill at 0% gives me this beautiful transparency. And here's the thing, I can move my type anywhere on the screen and that transparency comes with it. If I realize that I spelled San Francisco wrong, like this, it's now saw Francisco. I can edit my type on the fly 
with a gradient applied, but so it fades into the darkness. And so a little way of adding a bit of character to your type while making it live on the screen is by using the fill at 0% in combination with the gradient overlay. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also take a look at a few other videos that we have to offer just for you.